caption of the Nice. Mm. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Itch.io? Oh god, I'm gonna regret this one, will I? Hey guys, my name is Seb, and welcome to Shrek Dating Simulator by Noodle or Noodle Dev. It's on Itch.io. I'm gonna regret this one, will I? <laughs> my back hurts. Also, I'm Phoenix Wright. You grumbly waltz over to your locker. Each locker. <sighs> my name is Ari. <laughs> After changing into your uniform, you head on over to the mail room. This whole mail drop is grueling. You have wake up early, early every day and launch a heavy bag around New York City. Walk on over to the mail room and there's a small package that's hidden beneath your mail bag. And there's no return address and there's on a plain packaging. There's a note attached to the outside reads. To my dear beloved, I will always treasure the day you came for me. Here's my greatest possession, a tool to my heart. F. Do you find the package's owner? Determined to find the owner, you ask around the office they belong to anyone. As a dutiful male man would. No one recognizes it, so you see a place to your locker to take home after your shift. When you finally end your long shift, you head on to your two dollar shabby apartment. Hey, two dollars is two dollars. And it doesn't look half bad. It only a bit, you know. Needs more color and like reality, maybe. It's Friday, so there's a lot of couples out. Living in a large city, you see them all the time, but you can't help but feel hurt and lonely, like a fucking loser, you know? You're getting old. You're 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 like 21. Your mother does a good job of reminding you that your window to find love is closing. Only people available when you get old are divorces and creeps. You can you can hear scuffing at you, even your flashback. <laughs> However, there's a, a, some glimmer of hope. Tomorrow you have a plan. Tomorrow you're going to Comic Con. Shut up by the this fact you skip all the way home, ignoring all the judging stares of y y you being a fucking bitchless motherfucker. Like assholes do, you know? You wake up bright and early, ready to take on the day. You spent months procuring the perfect cosplay. You took a lot of green paint. It's heavy, it's heavy too. Uh, you admire yourself in the mirror. Your Shrek cosplay is perfect. You need to show to actually capture his beauty, but otherwise, you have the looks down pat. You have a signature green, his striking ears, and his sexy dad bod. Oh god. Excited and proud of your work, you immediately leave your apartment and head towards the subway. There you see him. Another perfect cosplay. Shrek's Fiona. You flustered Nick. You flustered and accidentally make eye contact on a train. Once the eyes lock a second time, you finally gain the courage to walk up to him. Hello, I'm I'm Ari. Uh, yes, also known as Mailman. Could you? Nice cosplay, Ari. He smiles gently at you. How long did it take? Uh, three months. His eyes grow white, but he regains his gentle smile. Well, that's some real dedication. <laughs> I'm on it. I I yeah. There's an awkward silence as the pure Shrek Fiona cosplay scratches his hat. You look up to him and smile. Where'd you get the wick from? It looks so good. He lights up. Oh, that thing. <laughs> How about some cheap hair and bleached and dyed it myself? Wow, that's amazing. I could never do that. I had to just buy a silly bald mask. You can still see my hair. <laughs> it still looks good, though. The silence returns. You open your mouth to continue the conversation, but the train grinds to halt. You fly forward and fly into the cosplayer's arms. Immediately, your face gets 
hot as your ass and you burn his chest. <laughs> Try to pray yourself off him, you notice his costume fits real. Really real. He grabs your shoulder and gently pushes you off him. He doesn't make eye contact as you try to regain your stability. <laughs> well, the com convention and center. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll see you inside. Maybe. Or do you have any more of that face paint kinda smeared? You pull out your phone, checking your new screen. You glance back at him and see how it's smeared on him, but because of the color of his dress, no harm is done. You promise that you now look ridiculous. I wish we had time to make an asset for it, but you look really dumb. Quickly dash off the train and cover up your face in fear of judgment and raise the conversation that there'll be bathroom, right? As you wait in line to get in, you notice you're getting stares. Is my cosplay that good? No, you look stupid, your face and forehead look completely different colors. You look weird. Uh oh. Once inside, you race to the bathroom. Luckily, you did bring some extra green face paint. You begin to smear all of your face. As other wa wa cosplayers walk in and out of the bathroom, you can't help but feel self conscious. The cosplays are all amazing. They have perfect bodies. Their makeup is amazing. Impeccable. I bet the idol I bet the idols would be proud of them. Don't cry or else you have to repaint it again. You can't cry, your face paint paint will exactly. Just get it all in. Be just completely like toxic to yourself. After a few seconds trying to cheer yourself up in the mirror, you regain your composure and head back into the crowd. The first place you head towards is the meet and greet booths. You want to meet your favorite comic books and manga artists as well as your favorite voice actors. You get to meet some pe uh, of the people behind People 5, Moldable Pieces, Cheerio what, and Dog Dude. It's like a dream come true. While you're in line you meet one of the artists behind Liver Living Pool. Deadpool. You spot a familiar face in line. You confidently walk up to him. As he affects your cosplay. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to fully capture Shrek's beauty and grace if I didn't. I think I went too far again, buddy. He looks uncomfortable. <laughs> yes. Anyway, you like a living pool? His eyes light up and he begins to be fangirling. <laughs> Time passes quickly as you admire him speaking, speak so passionately about living pool. It's not that at all, you find it both get in front of a line. Uh, hi! I am Ari, uh, it's so nice to finally meet you. Data smiles as you hand him a notebook. The cosplayer does the same. Data sends both notebooks and you both thank him and turn to leave. Well, it was a nice meeting you. Yeah. I know I said a million times, but your cosplay is really good. Thank you. You both awkwardly look down at the ground. After a while, cosplayer looks up and uh, at you and waves. See you around, I guess. Yeah. Oh god. You can't help but feel disappointed as you watch him walk away. Why does this keep happening? What is about me and makes everyone just keep walking away? Shook back the tears as he turned away and head home. It's lying your shabby two dollar. Why do you bring this up again? Two dollars is awesome. Recall the days of the event. Could it have gone better? Maybe it could have been very, uh, the very least made a friend. That's why you don't have everyone? No friends? No partner? It's a little me. You can't help but bother to clean off the. Can't you can't even bother clean off the green makeup? Just let the darkness consume you as you drift off to sleep. <laughs> Bad ending. Waste of space. Well, I fucked up.
Like I should, I thought, I thought I did everything. Why did I got the bad ending? Oh, and I see. Be sure to eat onions before and after playing the game. Oh, I should have eaten onions. I'm such a dumbass. Maybe you got a bad ending. Try it yourself. It's funny. <laughs> it wasn't as bad as I thought. And don't forget, we'll meet each other. I'll see you tomorrow.